Hey all you crazy Nerdberry nerds, welcome to another edition of Nerdberry Review. Today we are featuring RDM Plus, Remote Desktop Manager for your Blackberry. So as I scoot on up to the screen, let's see here, and zoom out a little bit. I've already got everything configured with Jason here and all we're going to do is basically give you a little brief walkthrough on how to connect up as you can see in here there's a code that you will type into your blackberry along with my account that's already set up let's zoom on out real quick and Jason's going to try to hold this phone study and actually show you how the app actually works um, Jason, if you want to go ahead and put the phone in front of the camera, let me see if I can focus on it. Alrighty, back it up just a little bit. Right there. Sorry guys, camera's got to get focused. Alrighty. Alright Jason, we want to open the app up and let's see what's going on with it. Alrighty, what is we got here? Let's see if I can zoom in just a little bit more. Oop. You may remotely access your PC from any internet connected computer in the world with RDM Plus web service. Go to rdmplus.com to learn more and connect. Alrighty, as you can see right here, you have six menu options desktop file system computers set up and exit let's go you can do a little bit of a file transfer let's open that up actually you know what I think we gotta connect oh no there we go it auto connects to the laptop and as you can see it'll bring up the hard drive and the CD-ROM you can open up the hard drive for me and let's go um, let's go to documents and settings. Alrighty, I'm gonna change that then. It's taking a little time. Just yeah, there you go. Let's go with the Nerdberry copy. We're going to transfer that. We can go into download files or upload files either from, you can upload the file from your Blackberry to the desktop or from the desktop to your phone. So let's go to download file and you get stored on your phone or on the SD card. This time we're going to store it on the SD card. And then if, I think if you hit the BB button it should say download. Just hit download are you sure you want to download it? Yes. Now this portion of it usually takes a while. That was a small file so it was very quick. So then there it is. You see it right there. And Jason if you want to go ahead and open it up that'd be cool. Well oh, never mind. That's cool. Um, let's go back to system. Let's check out system. And that will give you all your configurations and processors and or excuse me processes and all of that good stuff. You can remote re, uh, reboot or